All right, I'm gonna show you really quickly what I call an oobleck excavation. So what you see in front of me here is some leftover um, oobleck we made in one of our outrageous oobleck little experiments we were doing. And instead of just tossing it out when I was finished, I have a whole batch of these little kind of skeleton, dinosaur skeletons. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kind of spread them out in here. Sometimes these little plastic toys like to float a little bit, but you can kind of get them pushed down in there. And then I'm gonna let this sit overnight or maybe two nights. I'm gonna put it in front of a fan and let it dry out. And then I'll show you, we'll have a really cool oobleck excavation to uh, kind of dig in and discover our dinosaurs or pretty much whatever you want to put in there. All right, here we are the next morning. Our oobleck excavation has dried and now all you kind of need is whoever's gonna excavate, give them a little stick or some kind of tool to use. You don't want it super hard, but then as they go, they can kind of dig around and they'll start discovering the stuff hidden in here. If you let this dry another day, it'd be a little more difficult, but depending on who you want to have excavate, this works just perfect. But the really cool thing, once they start finding their items, is that with just a little bit of water, say we found everything in here we wanted, you can re-wet your oobleck and play with it again. All right, that's it. Easy oobleck excavation. Give us a like and subscribe if you want more fun science-based ideas.